All right, now when you take a screenshot, you might want to share a particular portion of the screenshot to somebody, or if you want to save a particular portion of the screenshot, uh, you usually edit this, crop it, and tap on this download button or save button to save it in the gallery. Now, when you go back to the gallery, you will not be able to further edit that screenshot. You'll be able to edit only the portion of the screenshot that you have saved. Now, what if you want the original screenshot that you have taken to further edit it? For this, all you need to do is just go to settings, go to advanced features, you will find the settings for screenshots and screen recordings. Here we have got a switch called save original screenshots. It says this lets you revert to the original screenshot after editing them in a the gallery, but it uses more storage space. Uh, I don't think it's going to use too much of a space, so nothing to worry about that. Just enable this particular switch. Now when you take a screenshot, you can edit it the way you want and just save this. Now, uh, if you want to further edit that screenshot, you can just go to the gallery, go to the recently edited screenshot, tap on edit. Now here you will see an option to revert to the original screenshot uh, which you've taken. I'll tap on revert, I'll tap on revert to original. You see the entire screenshot is available now uh, to further edit it. This is a feature I think you should enable. Let's move to the second one now. In the same screenshot and screen recording settings, we have got an option, hide status and navigation bars. When you enable this, what happens is, uh, whenever you take a screenshot, it does not include uh, the uh, status bar and navigation bar in the screenshot. As you can see, the screenshot I've taken just now does not have the status bar here. And if you have set the navigation buttons here, even that will not appear on the screenshot. So this is a setting which you should enable just in case if you want to share the a screenshot without the status bar and the navigation bar. Next, when you take a screenshot, you might want to instantly delete that screenshot without saving it. As you can see, I get this delete option right here at the bottom on this toolbar. Now, this is not available by default. Uh, to get this delete button, what you need to do is you need to go to the GoodLock application. Here, you will find a module Nice Shot. I'll just tap on this. You see, we have got a few options here for Nice Shot. Uh, this is a customization module for the screenshots and screen recordings. As of now, we have got very few options here. Uh, probably Samsung is going to, or the GoodLock team is going to add more features for uh, the screenshot and screen recordings. But for now, we've got a couple of options for screenshot. As you can see, disable crop snapping and add delete button. Now, if you enable this add delete button, you take a screenshot, you get this delete button right here. Just tap on that to delete the screenshot without even saving it into your gallery. Uh, this will definitely help in saving space if you are taking some screenshot randomly and if you don't want to save it in the gallery. Next, we have also got an option to delete after sharing. As you can see under screenshot and screen recording option, we've got delete after sharing switch. What this will do is as soon as you share the screenshot that you've taken, it will automatically delete that particular screenshot to save some memory on the phone. You can enable this as well if you want if you're someone who takes screenshot more frequently and if you don't want to save it just share it and automatically get it deleted on the phone now usually when we want to share or save a particular portion of the screenshot we use this toolbar to crop it now this is something which most of us do now instead of this what you can do is you've got this smart select feature on the edge panel as you can see i got rectangle and oval selection instead of taking a screenshot i can just open this uh, edge panel i can tap on rectangle option and i can and select a particular portion which I want to share or save. Now this is much more easier compared to taking a screenshot and then editing it. As you can see, I just want to share this particular portion of the screen. I can tap on done and I can just save this in the gallery or I can share it right from here. That is the best way to do it. And if you want to pin this particular screenshot and uh, multitask, you can also do that. I can just pin this here and I can open any application I want. It will remain uh, open on the top and we can also move this and we can also tap on this to uh, select the text from this particular portion of the screenshot that you have taken. You can tap on this uh, text icon here and copy the text from here and paste it anywhere you want. And you can also minimize this particular screenshot and uh, move it around. And if you want to maximize it, just tap on that, this particular a screenshot which you have saved, which you have pinned, will remain intact all the time on the screen as long as you keep it open. And if you want to close it, you can just tap on this icon here to close that particular screenshot. This is just fantastic. We can also uh, take this oval screenshot uh, wherever necessary. If you want to select a circular or oval form of screenshot, you can do that by using this particular smart select option. This is something which we should start using instead of taking the entire screenshot and saving it. Just take the portion of the screenshot you want, tap on done. Of course, this is only for taking a portion of the screenshot, not the entire screenshot. Now, there are multiple ways to take screenshot on your Samsung Galaxy phone. Let's go ahead and take a look at all those methods. 
the first basic thing you can do is uh, press on this power button or the side key and the volume down button simultaneously to take a screenshot which most of us know and the second option is swiping your palm on the screen to take a screenshot as you can see i'm able to swipe my palm on the screen to take the screenshot to enable this all you need to do is just go to the settings tap on advanced features now here you will see an option motions and gestures tap on this here we have got this option palm swipe to capture enable this you will be able to swipe the palm on your screen to capture a screenshot that is the second way to do it now the next option is on the quick panel as you can see on the quick panel i have got this toggle to take a screenshot if you don't see it here you can tap on this edit button and tap on uh, either of these options and uh, add the screenshot uh, toggle right from here at the bottom you will see that here just press and hold on it and drag and drop here on the top so that you will be able to access it now this is how you can add the screenshot onto the quick panel you can just tap on that particular toggle and take the screenshot as you can see I can just tap on this take screenshot toggle and the screenshot is taken here that is the third method the next method is using register module let me show you how to do that let's go to good lock I will tap on register module here Registrar is open. Now here we have got settings extensions, back tap action and side key press and hold action. Now let me just select the back tap action. Now here I can select some of the functions to assign it to the back tap. I got double tap and triple tap option. Let me select double tap. Now here we have got this option take and share screenshot. Let me just select this. Now when I double tap on the back of the phone, it automatically takes the screenshot. As you can see, I'll just double tap it. The screenshot is taken. Now let's come back here. Let me just tap on the settings option. As you can see, I have got both the options here, basic and share. If I select share, what happens is when I take a screenshot by double tapping on the back, you will see directly it is going to go to the sharing menu. This is very, very advanced option that we have got. Uh, in case if you want a direct sharing menu option, you can do that. But this is not necessary every time. So you may not want to enable this. If you're someone who takes screenshots frequently to share it, then this is the option you need to turn on. Whenever you double tap on the back of the phone, it takes the screenshot and it directly goes to the share sharing menu where you can share the screenshot here we don't get an option to edit this so we will have to directly share it now let me go back to the options here now I'll not select the share I will just select the basic one now I'll just double tap it the screenshot is taken and I'll be able to tap on share or edit further by using this toolbar that is the fourth way to take a screenshot that is not it now we have got one more way to take a screenshot we have got one more option that is by adding the assistant button let me go to settings here let me tap on accessibility you got interaction and dexterity i'll tap on this now here we have got assistant menu let me tap on this let me just enable this assistant menu and i'll tap on allow now here we have got the assist assistant menu added on the home screen it will be here at the edge of the screen you can just tap on this you see this is the assistant menu we have and we have got option here to take screenshots i can just tap on this to take a screenshot we will be able to customize this assistant menu you can further customize it by tapping on this assistant menu option here we have got options to select menu items you can add or delete the items here and uh, you can also further customize it probably i will make a quick video on this uh, in the future but if you want to explore it you can explore it yourself it's pretty easy to understand uh, here we are talking about taking a screenshot feature enable the assistant button and then just tap on this assistant button and tap on screenshot this is how you can uh, take the screenshot using the assistant menu now these are five different methods to take a screenshot on samsung galaxy phone let me know what do you think about all these steps did you already know about all of these are you using them let me know which method are you using to take a screenshot on your phone and also share if you have any other tips or tricks for the screenshots in the comment section that would benefit the community that's all i want to share with you guys if you're interested in this wallpaper i have left a link in the description you can go ahead and download it and the widget links are also available in the description go ahead and explore them and uh, download them if you like them that's all i have here if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet go ahead hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you find this informational thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye